guess I just need to stay up here. <laughs> Well, I am really glad to see more people in the sanctuary. I was beginning to get a bit worried. Maybe I shouldn't have put my name on the service. Okay, reflections of an ordinary life. Let me tell you, I, um, I finished this at about three o'clock this morning. Um, I had all day, <laughs> but you'll, I'll talk a little bit about that, why it sometimes takes me a long time. So on to the meanderings and musings. The weather was cold and I did not want to be outside trudging down Fort Street to yet another appointment. This never-ending need to perfect myself to make sure I was not going to go under any knee replacements or any other necessary but disgusting surgery. We often seek perfection. It does not seek us, certainly not me, and glad I am that it does not. Perfection does not exist. I eagerly seek imperfection. That is part of what living an ordinary life is for me. I spend a lot of time looking over my, uh, looking over my portion of the city. I, I call it my portion. Um, of course, it doesn't belong to me, but looking out over the park at all hours of the night and day one sees greenery in December. The snow is always melting. There's very little out there. Close to dusk, I like to look out for my balcony windows. Those days that stay sunny to watch the play of sunlight on the buildings in St. Boniface. The look of that light reminds me of paintings by some of the old masters, or new masters for that, all that. The light looks the same. An emotion wells up in me that verges on what? Joy, gladness, love, awe, awe. Maybe all, not sure. But I can, I really like that, the fact that I can look out onto the, the city at night and during the, the sunset and the sunrise. My days are often made up of working, rest and renewal. I don't call it anything else but rest and renewal. Does not include working. This rest and renewal, which could include snacking, something to drink, not anything of an alcoholic nature, mostly because I forget it's there. Napping is another time, another favorite uh, during rest and renewal. And of course, time on Facebook, all those groups and organizations that I follow anything to keep me from actually doing what I could be doing. Sometimes I stand in my little foyer, which opens up to every room in the apartment. Yeah, I have a foyer. It's not as big as the one out there, but you know, you get the picture. Because I can see every room from that little foyer. I look at the kitchen. It's, there's a lot of stuff that I don't really need, but what the heck, we all have stuff like that. The counters I can usually deal with. Having a dishwasher, oh, that's fantastic. I feel very comfortable in there. There's no baking going on, but lots of ad hoc meals. The pantry is my favorite place. It is filled with food and other stuff. Cookies, favorite food part 
of, and it's also, it belongs in the four fruit groups, right? Good for me. Still standing in the foyer, I'm looking into the living room. Ooh, I need some water. I look into the living room, starting, and starting to look a bit leaner. Lots of artistic linens hung over a recliner, my favorite recliner, and work chairs. Looks lived in. My work ta table, it's fairly organized right now. Not sure what it'll be like during tax time. There is a dining room chair in my living room. It's good for putting stuff on and hanging bags from. Very utilitarian. I can also look into the storage room. And I notice there's a, uh, what would you call it? It's a path. Uh, it's not that bad, I'm, you know. I'm not a real hoarder. Um, but um, it, it had to be, I had to have a path through there because the maintenance people, I mean, you know, they do stuff like looking after the, the um, what do you call it, or oh, the hot water, right? And they look after stuff like air conditioning. Well, wouldn't you know it? They have, you know, and if they need anything to do with water, well, I mean, you have to let them in, right? There's just no way. So it was, the storage room was divested of lots of stuff, so the maintenance people can get in and out. So where do you think that stuff went? It was divided up among all the rooms in my little apartment. Nothing on my balcony though. I was not allowed. I was given heck one year. So I can't do that. My bedroom is spacious now that the extra bed was donated. It was my sanctuary during COVID and it still is. So back to meandering. I'm not really sure where to start or where to continue. I'm reflecting on what? Musings, dreams, nightmares, moon meditations, coffee at Two Kelly's, one of the restaurants in my building. Coffee at McDonald's. I love McDonald's coffee. And a and is not too bad. Burger King, well, not, not too great. Coffee at the other rest. Um, I went for the first time in months, and it was excellent. Strong, but not too strong. It was fantastic with cream. Who knew? So, looking for inspiration. Hmm. When, while I was writing this on Thursday, uh, I had the pneumonia and the COVID shot on Thursday. And wow, like I felt sick by the evening. Not from the COVID, but the other one. It was in this arm and it was red and it was hot. Very uncomfortable. So I, I didn't do much that day. I just sort of, you know, back to the kitchen for a little snack back to bed, that kind of stuff. No inspiration whatsoever. Christmas for my family was quiet this year. A little tension in the air. Could have done with the puppy I talked about a couple of years ago. Keeping the little fellow occupied and away from anything he found delicious. Apparently, the little fellow is grown, very well behaved, and very loved. So I'm glad to hear that. In our 
our church community, I'm finding uh, a feeling of contentment, of joy, of hope. We have some splendid people working for us. They, sur this is my take on things, right? They surround us with that contentment, joy, and hope. Our caretaker also surrounds us with the feeling of being taken care of. So, are we taking care of them? Telling them how much we appreciate their care, their words, their deeds? I'm going to say something that maybe the board won't like. <laughs> but, you know, I try to get this topic in every time I have time available. So I thought I'd just mention a little bit about it. So I suppose now is not the time to harangue the board to look at the admin assistant job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't think they're too pleased with that. Well, this is being recorded, so it's, you know, you can't, they can't say I didn't do something. Back to meanderings and reflections. Losing three members of one family is heartbreaking. And this happened in our community in the last six, seven months. Also for the young adult who is the sole survivor of this small family. It just seems impossible for this to have all happened in such a short time. It's Linda Henderson was a very, very close friend of mine and a friend of many here. And she loved this church. Yeah, it, uh, heartbreaking. Again, looking out from my balcony window these dark evenings, I see sparkling lights everywhere. The specter rising from the pedestrian bridge is often lit up and changes color at night. Sometimes it happens right around two minutes after the hour, if I catch it. I don't always catch it. Um, and for about three, four minutes, it changes color. It's quite, quite beautiful, actually. The Christmas lights march down Main Street as they do most years. So that is what I see when I look out from my balcony window. It's lost to see. I have been visited by some insights this year. I will share one of them with you. It was about an emotional burden I have carried for many, many years. Much of that burden has dissipated over the years, but there was one issue left that would suddenly rear its head when least expected. One day this fall, I'm not quite sure why, I suddenly realized. I woke up and I realized the why it kept happening. I must say, understanding part of it has lifted that burden from my back, from my back, and I feel so much lighter. I feel freer to be more my authentic self whatever that is, warts and all. I will leave 2024 to sort itself out. We do not know what will happen, no matter that we plan our future days and years away. 
That is all, folks, for this year. Tune in next year, and you might hear all the same stuff. A bit like the movie, Groundhog Day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for listening.